Hi guys, um, it's me once again. Tolu is my name. I'm a video production generalist and I'm doing, or I have another video for you today and it's about my laptop, not the camera of production. Anyway, so this is my production laptop. This is the laptop I use for my everyday production. I've been using it since 2017. Um, same year I bought it, um, same year it was produced. Um, it comes with uh, an, a Core i7, I can't remember which one, but it's a 7th generation Core i7, 16 gig of RAM, um, 6 gig um, graphics card, NVIDIA um, GTX 1060, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so that's the configuration of the laptop, and I've done so much with this laptop. The laptop is a strong laptop. I've been experiencing some challenges, or I've, been, I've had challenges with this laptop for quite some time now, and um, what are those challenges? Challenges like uh, the laptop going off on its own, one. Two, if I touch it or if I try to move it around while it's on, it could go off. Three, the laptop not coming on while um, it's not plugged into power. I have to plug it to power for it to um, come on. Four, sometimes even um, once there's a power cut, the laptop goes off, even when the battery tells me it's fully charged. Um, another issue which I thought um, kind of like started the whole uh, problem was the graphics card. Each time I plug in a HDMI or I try to use, each time I have any tax that has to do with using um, the NVIDIA that is inside the computer, the um, external screen, for example, the external screen, screen starts to blink. If it's not, if it has nothing to do with the external screen, if it has something to do with the task and the laptop, the laptop trips off. I'm going to go straight to the point I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible and as quick as possible. I'm going to show you all the fixes or all the things I had to do to this laptop to keep it up and running. And right now, everything is almost back to normal. Now, I've been opening computers since I've been in my mother's womb. So if you do decide to do this yourself and um, any damage comes as a result of this, here's my disclaimer. I did not ask you to do it. That said, let's dive into it. This is my laptop right now and you can see that it's on. And moving it around, you can see it doesn't go off. I can drop it, do turn it around, and it's still on. Now I'm going to um, get this open now. First of all, I have to shut down. Make sure you shut down your system before you do this. All right, so my laptop is shut down right now, and I'm getting it open. Before we continue, I'd like you to look at the back of the laptop. There's a tiny icon or there's a battery pull icon which shows you um, a tiny pinhole where you could reset your laptop in case you need to do um, a battery uh, pull out. As you can see that the laptop, the battery is fixed into the laptop. Now don't forget to remove any dongles or anything plugged to it before you continue with this process. Now um, to get this open, I've opened this um, quite some time. So I've opened this quite a lot, so this might be a little bit easy for me to open. So um, just pry it from the side of the headphone jack and try to um, shake it up a bit towards each of the edges. Make sure it's opening to the side of make sure it's opening to the other side of the LAN pot. You have to be very careful. This um, chassis is made of plastic and it could break. And open it this way. All right, now that I have this open, um, this is the interior um, body of, or this is the interior rather of the um, laptop. On the outside, you have that icon I showed you earlier, but on the inside, you have this push button uh, right here. Now beside it, there's another button, a very similar button. Now what this button does is um, it tells the computer when the back cover is off. It means if this button isn't pressed against by the back cover, right, the laptop shouldn't come on. Um, this replaced, so there's a rubber here that is supposed to get that button pressed um, down. But over time, I think the rubber has gotten um, depressed, so it doesn't efficiently push that button anymore. So what I have here is to put um, a masking tape and I have it glued. You could use a double-sided tape for this also, by the way, as long as it's not too thick and it's able to press that button down. Secondly, that was the first fix and it took me a while to be able to find out that this could be wrong with the laptop. Now the second fix is because of the heat coming out of the laptop, I felt that the 
thermal, I felt that the thermal paste on the on both processor, which is the, the main processor and the graphics processor, I felt that the thermal paste should be dried up by now, over time of use, of course, that it should be dried up. However, I have done a repaste already for this laptop, so you might find out that the, you know, when I take this off, that it's not dried, but um, I'm going to take this off just so that you can see how to do this. You have to be very careful about this. Um, this is, um, this can be delicate. I'm going to take off screw here for the fan. One, these screws. Now, these um, screws are fixed to the body of this um, heat sink, so they're not going to come all the way off. And they have springs on them to push them down. I'm not going to open all the screws at once. I'm going to just, um, except for the one for the fan, right at the final edge here. I'm going to open all of them gently or um, step by step. So I release all of them first before I start um, totally unscrewing um, the screws. Now I'm just going to sh uh, shake this to find out which one of the screws is still holding on. I think that should be this one. And um, we have it. Now this, has, uh, this is off already. I just need to, which I should have done first, uh, take off this um, connector for the heat, for the fan on the heat sink. Now you have to be very careful about this just to make sure you do not scratch the board. As you can see, I'm using my screwdriver to do this. I just need to be able to pry it without pulling on the cable. If you pull on the cable too much, you might also damage it. So you have to be very careful. Now, once that is done, this should come off easily. Now, what do we have now? Um, initially, before I, I had this paste, um, before I had this paste on the processors, the initial paste or the paste I found there was already dried up. And I'm guessing that was the reason why this gets really, really, really hot. So for the purpose of this um, exercise or this demonstration, I'm going to clean off all the paste that is on the process, both the processor and the heat sink. I'm going to clean everything and um, repaste um, everything. So um, make sure before you start this, you pull out the battery cable um, from the motherboard just to make sure you don't short circuit anything by mistake. Next now we're going to repaste um, the processor and fix the heatsink back on the system. So what I did was I went to the store and I got um, this thermal paste though it wasn't exactly what I was looking for but for now it will do. Now to apply the paste on the processor you just need to put a little bit of paste on directly on the chip. Now, don't forget, it shouldn't be too much because once you fix the heat sink back on it, it's going to press against the paste and it's going to spread it around. I'm doing this, I've done that for the NVIDIA and now this is for the system processor. Now, that should be enough paste to hold the system. Now, I'm going to get the heat sink back on the system. Now, be careful not to rub it around while doing this. Make sure you have it well placed before you press it down. Now I have the cables for the um, fan held up and I'm just going to look at that carefully. I'm trying to, I'm going to try and align the screws to where it's going to fix into or where it's going to screw into before I press down and that should do it. Now I have it, I have this done and all I have to do now is screw all the, um, push all the screws back in. I'm not going to tighten that for now. I just have them in. And um, the next is to start pushing in each of these screws step by step, little by little. I'm not going to screw them all down all at once. Just a few steps in individually like that till everything goes down. Now, I do this because um, for a very long time, some time ago, I used to couple desktop computers for people and um, if you if you're not careful with pulling out the heat sink on your fan, you have to kind of like pull them, pull the screws out one by one. If you're not careful, careful, you, you kind of like spoil um, the screws holding the heat sink down. So everything is in tight. 
Now, I have everything back in. Please, very important, do not forget to plug the fans, the cooling fans. They have to be plugged back in, else your system will still get really hot. And I'm going to push that right in gently. That's in. It's going to snap in so you would know when it goes in. And this is, I have the fan for the LAN card here, so you have to be very careful with that too. And I have this, and I'm going to fix these cables back into where they belong. Great. So now that has been done, I'm going to have to fix the battery back. Uh, push this back in. So now I have the battery fixed. Uh, fixed. Now, everything. Now, reminder, the two fix I had is this button that stops the laptop from coming on once the, ba the back cover is out. One should fix the battery back in. Those are the only things we touch. So we're going to get the back cover back on the laptop. So just the same way, the reverse of the same way we had the laptop out, I had this open this way. So I'm going to fix it in the same way. And... Um, Make sure you have all the um, side ports um, well fixed before you press down on the back. After fixing all the screws, we're going to power the system to see it come on before we put the screws back in. The reason why we are doing this is just in case we need to open it. Now that we have the cover back on the laptop, let's power it on. Now the laptop comes on just fine. Just in case it does not come on immediately, you might need to power it off and on maybe like once or twice. I think this happens sometimes whenever you pull out the battery, um, the CMOS of the system does um, kind of like do a reset. Now, those are the two fixes I found out about this laptop and it took a whole long time to actually find this out. The first is the push button at the back of the laptop and the second is the paste on the laptop. Now, being the only problem or the only big issue this laptop has that I found out on the internet that this system produces a lot of heat the system gets really hot this system got so hot one day after playing model combat um, it kind of like cracked um, the design on my table before you try this out at home please understand that this is going to void any form of warranty you have on your laptop because you're opening up your laptop by yourself um, this is not um, this is a DIY, yes, but it's not done by a professional or by the um, company where you purchased your laptop or whoever provided you with such warranty. Please remember, this is going to void your warranty. And please, you have to be a little bit technically savvy to do or to carry out this task. If you have no idea about unscrewing a laptop or a thermal paste or fixing it in, please do not try this at home. This is for educational purpose only for those having this issue. If you have this issue, please find out someone or find someone that is able to carry this task out and um, let them help you do it. If you have to take it to someone that fixes laptop, at least you could suggest what is wrong with your laptop to them and they could look into it. Now, if you're having this issue, it's not the graphics card like a lot of people think. I found that on the internet. People think it was a graphics card of the laptop the people think the 10 people think the gtx 1060 has this issue yes it does get really hot but i think every now and then it just needs repasting um secondly it has nothing to do with the processor lastly the laptop tripping off might not be the battery it may be the battery but it might not be the battery if you have an acer laptop like i do and it has that push button at the back then probably you want to have a look at it if you find it useful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share and encourage uh, me to do more videos by subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell icon too, just so that you know when new contents come on. All right, adios.